By speaking up, I have benefited a lot. I will continue to speak out. If others are mistreated and they are afraid to speak up, I shall work with them. If I can, I will speak for them. The days of being silent are over. Shukjan is an example of how the awareness training has changed her life. Now she can send her child to school, she earns her own living, she is no longer a beggar, nor is she dependent on anyone's kindness. She is self-reliant and no one dares to proposition her. Shukjan and her group of women own and run the roof tile factory. The roof tiles on Habibur and Bahanur's house were made by this factory. In the past, we had a thatched hut. Now we have a tiled roof. Next, God willing, we might be able to buy bricks and build a brick house. In the past, I wore a torn shirt. Now I have a dirty shirt. Next time, you might see me with a clean shirt. It took Habibur seven years of arguing, listening and courage to change his behavior. Before, I didn't wash the dishes. My pride wouldn't let me. Doing women's work is embarrassing at first. A lot of men gave me a hard time. They said, Habibur is washing the dishes. Habibur is sweeping the courtyard or cooking. But what I've learned is that in the end, whatever those men say, they aren't going to feed my family. I have to earn my own money and provide for my family myself. The progress my wife and I were making by working together kept me from giving up. I saw that an hour's work was getting done in half an hour. If I helped her with her work, then she could help me with mine. We'd be done with our household chores faster and get back to our other work. I took a loan from Uttaran and bought a cow. Now my children can drink milk. That'll make them healthy. To own a cow in our agriculturally based society is very significant, particularly for a woman. So for Bahanu to own a cow is indicative of her independence and equality. Besides, it's a major asset. Bahanu can sell the cow or its milk whenever she pleases. It's like money in the bank. Now we have a cow, we have a rice mill, and we have money. Before we had nothing. Before we ate at most once a day, our clothes were torn. Our children couldn't go to school because they didn't have proper clothes or food or books. We couldn't leave our homes or participate in the village government. My husband never bothered to discuss anything with me. Today, if we buy a piece of machinery or a piece of land, we, husband and wife, buy it together and keep it together. Now our husbands help us with our work and we help them with theirs. And they help us in raising the children. Our eyes have opened. Now we live by our own wisdom. The way I used to mistreat their mother, that's not the case anymore. And the children can see that. I hope that kind of beating will never take place again. We were not educated, but the children are getting educated. Education is everything. When I was a child, my mother used to wake me up and say, Hurry up and wash the dishes and boil an egg for your brother so he can go to school. That girls should also go to school? She didn't care about that. We know now that just as boys go to school, girls should also go to school. I want them to get high school and college degrees and to get jobs.
My father and uncles made a small attempt to educate the boys, but no attempt to educate the girls. I'm going to educate my daughter the same way as I educate my son. I know now that a woman's life is like my life. They want to be independent in the same way that men want to be independent. They hurt and bleed the same way we do. We are creations of the same God. I'm Ray Offenheiser, president of Oxfam America. Oxfam and Uteran have been working together for more than 20 years to support economic development and community self-reliance. Oxfam funds similar programs in places like the hills of Central America, the Central Plateau of Africa, and the farmlands of the United States. Oxfam America depends on your donation to support the work of people like Javi Boer and Shuk John. 81% of our donations come from people just like you. If you would like to get more information about our programs, write to me at Oxfam America, 26 West Street, Boston, Massachusetts, 02111, or call 1-800-OXFAM-US. Thank you very much. Rasu, 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 Rasu,